By now, you if you've watched the channel, you've seen a doe kill, archery harvest, out of a saddle. Um, and then there's another video of how to skin and um, debone. Well, now we're in the kitchen, and this is the meat from that doe. So I'm going to show the, the few basic cuts that I like to do on deer. So the, I got the back straps in the sink right now, so what I'll do is I'll usually grab one and you know they got a little bit of hair on them and stuff and I'm just running cold water. Just rubbing my hands across looking for hair, looking for anything gross, they're pretty clean, looks pretty good. Now I do back straps one of two ways. Sometimes I gotta get my dog out of the way. My dog loves uh, deer meat. Here you go. All right, so one method that I really like is I'm gonna cut this in a, uh, almost in half, probably a third. Okay. Okay, now I've got that off this, just a thin, tiny little layer. But right, but look at this. You see what you got here? Okay, now I'm going to package this exactly like this. And I'm going to call it deer loin because we've got a recipe that that will just melt in your mouth that's cut number one cut number two I take the back straps and this is how I prepare these so I'll go no bigger than a half inch thick okay and I cut through it like that and then I I'm gonna trim the edges right now it's just this side so I flip it over cut cut now see that piece there's no Fat, no silver skin, nothing on it. That is, uh, I'll package that like that. I'll do about a pound's worth of those in a package. Once again. Um, also our scrap stuff like this, um, I'll dehydrate it down, I'll season it in like a marinade, dehydrate it down and make dog treats out of it. Our dog friggin' goes crazy for them. But you can make dog treats out of it. You can grind it and make sausage. Um, the rest of the stuff that we do, any of this neck meat or any of this kind of stuff, I just cut it into strips. I cut the white fatty junk off and then cut it into strips and that makes jerky. We go through a ton of jerky in this house. So most of our meat we turn into jerky. But then these are the back hams. Hair off, crud off. Now, here's another cut. Um, what I'm looking for is this chunk right here. So what I'm gonna do, probably gonna come back in here about where I start seeing all this mess. And I'm just gonna cut right through it. And all this garbage right here, I'll cut this up. That could be steak meat. Let me show you that. So. If So like right there, that could be a cut of a deer steak, just like that. Or if you don't want to use it as a deer steak, um, like you could cut it up like this piece here even. I'll cut it up. That's a piece of jerky. Right there, that's a piece of jerky. That I wouldn't use. It's got too much of that fat silver skin 
nasty stuff. But these two would be what I call jerky cuts. I also have a video on my channel of a great jerky recipe. Check that out if you haven't already. But what I'm chasing is this guy right here. So I got a big chunk of meat off of this ham and you can see how it's got like the layers to it and stuff. What I'm gonna do is just clean it up. I'm just coming through here, cutting this fat off, silver skin. Doing a little clean up in detail. Get all that out of the way. Basically, I think I'll get rid of that one too. That I will. That could be. Yeah, I'll probably jerky meat that. But, you can kind of tell where I'm going with this. Now, that guy right there, I would package just like that. That'll be a deer roast, okay? That you can put in a slow cooker um, and then shred it up, put some barbecue sauce in it and have uh, like, you know, pulled, uh, pulled venison sandwiches, barbecue sauce, um, or you could just, however you want. I mean, any way you would cook a, a pork or a beef roast, you can cook this the same exact way. So I'm going to package a few of these up as roasts, a couple of these as loins. I'm going to have a few packages of, of the sliced steak and, and backstrap meat. And then, the, then whatever I can't do into those cuts, I'm going to do into jerky cuts. And what I can't do into jerky cuts are going to be scrap cuts like this that will go to grind or to dog treats. So we're pretty well using every little piece of it. We don't, the one thing we really don't do is we don't do deer burger just because we don't have the equipment yet. We plan to buy it this year, so next fall we'll be able to start doing uh, summer sausage and, and deer burger and things like that. I do like a deer chili. I typically don't just make deer burgers, but uh, you never know what we'll do in the future. You know, maybe we get tired of these cuts, but I'm going to try to do recipes on how to do the, the roast, how to do definitely for sure this backstrap loin one, um, and then I'll, I'll do one of how to cook this. I haven't done that yet. so. Between now and turkey season, you may see some of these episodes coming up on how to how to use these cuts. This is grind meat, scrap meat. This is what you can turn into uh, summer sausage, into deer burger, anything like that. Um, so I'm just gonna basically package it up into big uh, food saver bags and label on it grind, and I'm gonna put it in the freezer, and then whenever we come down to where we're wanting to make something with it, we'll thaw it out, trim it up a little better, and then grind it up then. So we got grind over here. We got jerky cuts. That'll be that's about about what I make for one batch of jerky at a time. Over here, this is just a little bit of like steak and, and some back straps I cut up. And then we've got we got one, two, three, four, five roasts. And then there's like six of these back strap tenderloins right here. So we're gonna package these up kind of differently. So I'm gonna write on here. I always write the date or the year that it was taken. So I'm gonna call this a 21. I know it's 22 now, but 21 season. Um, and then I'm gonna write loin on there. Open that bad boy up. If you don't have a food saver, I would highly recommend it. I used to use freezer bags, Ziplocs and stuff, and uh, big, big difference. So you put your meat in, in the bag, put it in the food saver, lock her down, hit back seal, it's going to suck the air out of it. Done. You open her up, that's ready for the freezer. Two gorgeous cuts of backstrap right there. Definitely get the food saver. All right, let's do let's do a roast. Roast. Boom.
keep that down in that little channel. That's a drip channel. So if it does happen to suck some juices up, it falls down in that channel and you can pull that thing out and wash it out. So you put, put the edge of the bag right in that channel, close the lid, lock it, hit back seal. I'm gonna wait for the lights to go out. When the lights go out, she's done. Release it, open it, got a sealed edge there. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get after it and seal the rest of the stuff up, get it in the freezer. Um, if you got any ideas on ways to that, that you cut your meat that's better, or to package it, or, or any of that, put it in the comments. But uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.